that's it. Now, you want to watch your rope, and remember, <laughs> get wrapped up in your work here, Bill. idiots we're heading for Ohio. <laughs> Gotta go through we're gonna go through Dallas and from what we hear Dallas just got six inches of snow today. Of course we're a thousand miles away from there yet. What's our temperature today? Seventy two degrees. See what you make me do on my birthday. Look at him, he's 42 today. <laughs> 42 and I don't feel a day over 60. <laughs> I just was going to say, I don't know when I ever heard a weatherman starting along about Tuesday saying, we've got some kind of a front blowing in here this weekend. I said, I know. They were making a big deal of it. <laughs> This is one of the many gophers that they have trouble with in the gardens here. You can tell by the grin that he's apparently just eaten a number of flowers. Now he's going over to the the creek for a drink, and he liked the like the taste of it. It's where it comes right out of the old tangy. Hold your glass straight out forward, Greg. So that everybody can see. That's toasting to his next successful flight. That into a great group of passengers. We have a little balloonist prayer that we toast to, and it goes like this. The winds have welcomed you with softness. The sun has blessed you with his warm hands. You have flown so high and so well that God had joined you in your laughter and set you gently back into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Anymore. Successful, Successful flight. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Open that. Ruin it. Morning, Greg. Morning. Hi, Ralph. It's snow, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you scum, I was going to throw it at you. you. Yeah, you can tell. You can see it. <laughs> well, we are back. Welcome to the 1991 Easter Seals Telethon here from Phoenix. The phones are not ringing, Jan. I can't no. understand why. Uh, we need your help. That's the whole gist of it, gang. Without your help, we have no equipment, we have no therapy. And the money stays right here night. place and went come out 
and went down towards Leeds, circled around there, didn't see anything out of you. There's life inside the cabin now. That's our chief cook, Chef Ardry, better known as Carl. We're keeping Jerry up, as you can see, but not by much. We've been out here now for the better part of two hours, and Jerry's the only one that's caught anything to speak of, and that was about 20 minutes of sleep. Uh, <laughs> so, it's a nice day. The only thing that's wrong is the fish don't know it. Why, that big one, it's a carp. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again? It's a carp, that big one. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you it's a walleye, but it's a carp. <laughs> I'll show you how I can make him even bigger, John. Mine, mine eat those that size for breakfast. <laughs> Have we decided, what is it, 27 inches long? Yeah, it's 27 inches Six pounds, but the scales are going down there, so can't weigh them. We don't know. Six, six plus pounds. Yeah. Anyhow, that's the Motley Crew. This is Tuesday, July the 21st. Mom, hello. Hello. Nice shot, Dad. Good shot. And Carl. Carl's over here. Did we lose Julie? Did she get thrown out already? I don't know where she went.